Pokemon! Hello everyone and welcome back to video number 10. In this video we're going to add a win screen and a game over screen to our game. So first thing we want to do is create those backgrounds. So I'll go to the bottom right of the screen, underneath stage and backdrops, and I will choose this icon, and I will choose the second one which is paint. So I'm going to paint two new backdrops. This first one, I'm going to name it Windscreen. So this is when the player wins the game, they're going to go to this screen. So I want to grab text, and in the middle of the screen, I want it to say, you win. So I'm going to make that a little larger, center it in the screen, and then I want one more piece of text, and I want this text to say, press green flag to play again. So if they want to play the game again, they can press the green flag. And I'll center that as well. Bring that one down a little bit. There we go. So now we have our win screen. Now what I want to do is make our game over screen. So instead of starting from scratch, what I'm going to do instead is duplicate this win screen. So I can go over to it here, right click, and choose duplicate. And first thing I want to do is change the name. So instead of win screen, I want it to be game over. And instead of the you win text in the center, I want it to say game over. So game over, press the green flag to start again. So now we have a win screen and we have a game over screen. Now we want to set up our code so that when the player's lives reach zero, they go to the game over screen. But if the player completes level three, they go to the you win screen. So we'll go over to our sprite window, click on our player, and go into our code. And the first bit of code we're going to set up is that if the player's lives equal zero, they go to the game over screen. So first thing I want to do is go to events, add when the green flag is clicked. I'll go to control, get a forever loop because I want it checking every frame if the player's lives are equal to zero, and I'm gonna grab an if-then loop. Because we wanna say, if the player's lives equal zero, then go to the game over screen. So that's what we'll do first. If the player's lives equal zero. So I can find that equal block under operators. There it is, equal. And we want if the player's lives equals zero. So I'll change that to zero. And we can find the player lives variable under the variables tab. There it is, player lives. So if player lives equals zero, then we want to switch the background to game over. So I can find that under looks and switch backdrop to game over. So if the player's lives equal zero, then switch the backdrop to game over. Now if I press play, I have to get to zero lives. So two, one, zero. And it did in fact get to the game over screen, but notice the player's lives keep going down and our player was kind of bouncing there at the bottom. That's because the game is continuing even once we get to the game over screen. So we want to add one more block of code here that'll take care of the problem of the player's lives going down. That will be under control. And if we go down, we will see stop all. What this does is it stops the whole game. It stops all of the sprites from continuing what they are doing. So I'm going to hit the red stop sign, green flag. And now when we get to that game over screen, we should see the player's live stop and the player will not be moving anymore. So zero, there we go, switches to the game over screen and you can see the player's lives is stuck at zero. So now we have exactly what we want. The other thing we have to do is hide the player, the coin and the door once we get to that last level. So we will start with the player code. And what we can do, is go to events, and when the backdrop switches, but instead of level one, we want it to be game over, and when it switches to that game over screen, we wanna hide the player. So we can go to looks, 
scroll down and grab hide. So now when it gets to game over, the player is going to hide. The only thing though is when I restart the game, the player will still be hidden. So I also want to add a show block to the beginning of the game. So now when we get to that game over screen, the player should hide, but when we reset, it will show the player again. So I also want to do this for the door, so I can drag this code on top of the door icon. And I also want to do this for the coin. And if we click these coins, we can see which coin it is. So it is in fact going to be coin three. So I can go back to my player and drag this code to coin three. So now if I go to the door, there is that code. And if I go to the coin three, there is that code as well. So notice coin three is showing up on level two, but our door does not have any code that tells it to show. So we have to set it where it says, when it gets to level one, show the door. So I'm gonna right click and duplicate this code. So when the backdrop switches to level one, instead of hiding the door, we want to show the door. So now when I press play, when we get to that game over screen, all of those objects should be hidden and it should just say game over. So zero, there we go, game over. No objects are on the screen and players' lives are set to zero. If I hit the green flag, the game should play just like it normally does. So I do see the coins, there we go, there's the lava and the third coin. We'll get to level three. So now if I was to lose on level three, we wanna see if there's anything else we have to adjust. So we got two, one, and I'll hit the monkey. There we go, game over. So notice everything is still okay, except now we just have to hide that monkey. So we can use that same code. When backdrop switches to game over, we wanna hide. And we'll go to the monkey. So we have when backdrop switches to game over, we wanna hide the monkey and he is in fact already showing up on level three, so I don't have to add any code for him to show up. Now if I go back to the game, and this really is what it is, is just a bunch of testing to see if there's anything else that you have to tweak in your game. So we get to level three, I'm gonna hit that monkey, one, two, three, game over. There's no other object showing. Press the green flag to play again and we can play again. So that takes care of our lose screen. But now let's see what happens if we win the game. So I'm gonna move my player through level one, move my player through level two, and get to level three. And the nice thing is when you're testing, because I've tried getting past this monkey and it's pretty tough, just for the purpose of testing the game, I can click and drag him out of the way. So now when I hit this door, I should get to the U win screen. It looks like I did for a couple seconds, but then it switched to the game over screen. And the reason for that is, is the game continued, so the player continued to fall and continued to lose lives until the lives were at zero, and then we went to the game over screen. So what we want to happen is when the player gets to the win screen, we want to stop everything again and then hide whatever sprites we have to. So we'll go to the player script and we'll say when the backdrop switches to, in this case it will be win screen, we want to stop everything. So I'll delete that for now and we can duplicate up here stop all. So when the backdrop switches to the win screen, we want to stop all, just stop the game where it's at. And let's test that out now. All right, so on level three, I'm gonna drag this monkey out of the way. And when we hit the door, we should go to the windscreen. There we go, so we are in fact at the windscreen, and it looks like the only thing we have to do is hide that monkey. So I'll go back to the monkey script. And when the backdrop switches to game over, we want to hide. So I will duplicate that and switch it to, when the backdrop switches to the windscreen, we wanna hide that monkey. And now once I hit that door, I should go to the win screen. There we go, win screen. Players' lives still stay at three, which is great. 
Only one more thing I want to do is hide that player and hide that door. So I'll go to the player script. When the backdrop switches to, in this case, we want it to be the wind screen, so I can duplicate this code. When the backdrop switches to wind screen, I want to hide the player. And I also want to drag that same code into the door script. So when the backdrop switches to win, hide the door as well. So let's test this one more time. We should be good after this. And then when my player hits the door, we should just see the win screen. There we go. So no player, no door, no monkey. Lives stay the same. Score is the same. You win. Press the green flag to play again. And there we go. Now we can play the game again. So now we have a win screen set up. We have a game over screen set up. I'll see you in the next video.